Hello everybody, welcome back to Grand Prix Manager 2. So last time we've begun our, the 1991 mod for managing Ligier and we had double retirement, which was a bit unfortunate. Uh, but we were like stuck at the back of the grid because our engine was so underpowered. But anyway, before we advance further than that, we need to go back to the commercial manager and try and sign a deal. Now, now since commercial manager is going to be important, I'm going to try and take... Williams is one. See, they want see the salary is hundred fifty. So if we make hundred sixty thousand for three seasons and income from sponsorship five percent. Okay, so we got Jim Wright for three seasons, which is good. Now, uh, if you may remember, in case some people don't, we have a very underpowered engine, only 670. The only team that's really worse than ours is the Roos, but theirs is much better in quality. So. Yeah, I won't sign any engine deal with, with any engine until the end of the season. I think it might be more suitable that way. That might be why uh, we went bankrupt was because I may have done it too early. But anyway, I went to drive. I checked dri the drivers, and I can see Eric Collis and well, Collis got better stats than Comus on certain aspects. But anything that's not better is exactly the same. So I'm actually going to swap Eric Comus and Collar, which means, which means so Coase is now going to be the test driver. Taking into account the, the salary difference is quite substantial. And yeah, that's pretty much that settled. Let's now get ready for Interlargos. Actually, I've just remembered before that, we've got to do, we'll do the manufacturing. Hang on, so what parts have we got? Sus weak suspension, not good brakes, not good steering, not... Oh, none of that parts are that good at all. <laughs> okay, now that we don't really have any good parts, actually. But we'll manufacture brakes and... Ele we'll, say ele we'll go with electrics. I think it might be best that way. Okay, now we'll go to Intel Argos. Okay, we're here at Intel Argos, and I see mi mixed conditions this time. But hopefully... It'll stay dry for a collard and boats in to put some hopefully good lap times. So we'll send them out and see what happens. Okay, not surprisingly, we are way off the pace. We're six seconds slower than McLaren and three seconds slower than Benetton. So I'd say we are in a lot of trouble here. So hopefully qualify when they do or die. Hopefully. They can close the gap down a bit, but I'm not expecting them to be the front row, in fact, I'm expecting them to be at the back like they were at the South African Grand Prix. Okay, they've come back to the pits now, so let's end the session, just hope for the best. Okay, the session has ended. Only four people did make 107%. Uh, Suzuki for the Roos, Bernard also for the Roos, and Martin Brundle, which I didn't want to see Brundle uh, be the person not taking part. Now, Boatson managing to hold fifth place, being out qualified by Jordan. Jordan have done amazingly well. Emmanuel Collard is in 11th, which is good. Just out qualified Gianni Morbidelli. So, Minardis are really, really quick in this mod. So Blundell gets to race, Brundle doesn't. Brundle, Blundell, Brundle, Blundell. <laughs> anyway, both McLarens, then both Jordans, Boatson in 5th, then both Ferraris are quite low down, Martini 8th, then both Benetons are really low down, Collard, Morbidelli, both Leighton Houses, both Williams are really low also, Nakajima, both Dallara, Mundina, both Lotuses are so low down, including Hacken and Brun uh, Herbert, and there's Mark Bl Blundell at the back. I am very surprised to see both Lotuses roughly at the back of the grid. That's just mind-blowing. Okay, come to the formation lap. Who is going to stall? No one's stalling their car. Which is good, which means we will still be in 5th and 11th on the grid. But anyway, the Brazilian Grand Prix is ready to go now! Blundell stole his car, so he's out of the race, but he's start at the back of the grid. Let's make sense by going to this TV camera here. So, 23B 
people on the grid to wait to start. Alien Prost is already retired and he ain't even complete the first lap. Okay, that's a big surprise right there. So clearly something had gone wrong with them and looking okay, I can see one of the, uh, both Williams is making light work of Capelli's lane house. But we're still holding fifth and eleventh right now, which is good, even though Collard is now I don't know, Collard's being passed by Ricard Patrice. I'm surprised it is it's not Mansell that passed him. Both Lotus is still at the back of the grid. I don't know why Lotus is so slow here. Especially since they got Hacken and Herbert. Some people are definitely doing three stop strategies at the moment because a lot of people are pitted. We're pitting a lot twenty five and twenty six, so everyone's pitted like a lot earlier than that, so Hmm. Okay, Nigel Mansell has over that overtaken. Boatsen only to be passed the game only because he's coming to the pits. Boatsen's coming to the pits lap 25. From f from fifth place, but he's expired. I know he's going to fall down the order and it's raining heavily again. So 26 laps worth of fuel. 12.1 seconds. Where's Boat there's boats in the pits? There's Berger and Senna lapping them. And from now, Boats is going to come from 5th down to 6th. He's only done, okay, 6th place, okay. I thought he'd drop a bit further than that, but no, he's ahead of Alessi's Ferrari and both Benetton's. Mario Collard had been passed by, I think that was Gianni Morbidelli in the lane house just before he pitted, so there's no point seeing where he's going to come out because he's so low down the order. Oh no, it's Capelli, go... Or oh, is in the minority, okay. Uh, Alacy has got past Boatson, so that's... And uh, Emmanuel Collard has just retired. Okay, there's so few... There's, there's really not been that many retirements in this um, in this race, which is quite surprising. Mika Hakkinen has retired, but both losers were still stuck at the back of the grid. And I don't really know, understand why that's the case, but that's one Lotus down. Boats has now dropped down to 10th place because Mark Pelerigi, Marti, Schumacher and PK have all overtaken them. Great. No, this is not... The Ligier are not, definitely not scoring any points in this Grand Prix either. So... Hmm, I can see the rain is just deteriorated a little bit, but it's still quite rainy though. And Marbidelli is retired, but he was, like, behi but he was behind Boats and so it doesn't really matter. And Ricard Patrice has got past both of the boats, and uh, now Ivan Capelli has got past the boats, is now down to 12 other main 18 runners. And Siri Boatson has retired just before he was coming to the pits for his second and final stop, so that's a big disappointment because he was doing, he was still in 12th place, which was, which would have been alright for Ligier, despite based on the engine, but that's not happening. Michael Schumacher has just retired also. Okay, I'm surprised Schumacher is out of the race because he was doing quite well for Benetton. Nelson Piquet for the other Benetton is retired. Jean Alacy is now retired. Now we've got Minardi in the points position now. Minardi might actually score, which would be good to see. But I was surprised that Piquet and Alacy have just suddenly retired from the race. Gerhard Berger for the McLaren is now retired. Now McLaren one two is no longer gonna be no longer gonna be a thing because now both Jordans are now in a po podium. That'd be great. It's now seeing both Jordans in the podium. Nigel Mansell's down in four and the drag flag dry up. I don't think it's gonna drop in time for the need for dry tires. So, huh. so Ricard Patrice in the points, Martin in the points. So both Jordans. Both Williamses, a McLaren and a Minardi might actually score. Leighton Harris are just going to miss out. Then both Terrells, Pierus Dallara and Johnny Herbert is the last of the runner. Two laps, he's about, I think he's two laps behind Piro. Is it one lap behind Piro or two? Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> but not a good race for us. Two double retirements in a row, that's not what we wanted to see. But anyway, Ayrton said from both from both Jordans. Why are both our guys retire? Collard had a gearbox failure. Both since engine went. Great. Uh, Alien Prost had his engine blown. PK Lacey's engine is blown. I didn't realise Interlargos was brutal on engines. 
And there was just no news there. Any injured drivers? No. Oh dear, what is wrong with our engine? And uh, Collard uh, lost his gearbox. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we are Imola. It's a permanently dry track, which is good. So let's get both Spotson and Collard out there. I mean, look at that. <laughs> 10 seconds, Collard 10 seconds slower than first, 3 seconds slower than Boatson. And we got Boatson, who is 4 seconds slower than Ferrari, 5 seconds slower than Benetton, and 7 seconds slower than, Lee, than McLaren. So let's just get out there and just pray we can actually claw something back with this abysmal performance. Even though we've got the do or die instruction on, they're they're just as slow as they are, well, they're just well off the pace from McLaren, and Fry and Benetton are considerably quicker, so we might actually not qualify at all for this Grand Prix. Well, that'd be a shame if, th if that's the case, but we're just going to have to end the session and just hope for the best. Okay. Uh, got to trust yourself here. Both the Russes are not taking part again. Mika Hakkinen has failed to qualify. Now, I'm really surprised by that. Emmanuel Collard is only down 12. He's out qualified boats and is down 21st. Right, okay, we've got some really interesting results here. Oh yeah, Johnny Harbour will be taking part at least. Okay, both McLarens, both Benetton's. Cross, then Mansell, then Alacy, then both Minaris have done extremely well. Cirrus, Brundle's up to 11th, Collard 12th, Capelli 13th, Medina 14th, Golden 15th, Leo 16th, Gasho 17th, Nakajima 18th, Patrice 19th, Piero 20th, Boatson, Blundell, and Johnny Harbour at the back. The San Marino Grand Prix is ready to go now! No one stalled their car, we're still 21st and 12th. Let's make sense by going to this TV camera here. Yep, all 23 cars are there. Oh, Alacy and Leto have both retired. Okay, that's put Collard up to 11th. Both of them will go up to 19th. I mean, Alacy, uh, not been a, for the last couple of races, just not has just not been his race at all. He's just oh dear, poor Alacy, because Alacy's a great driver and he's just having problems. Martin Brundle has retired. Okay. Redeemed himself from qualifying for not being allowed to take part in the last race, but he's now that he's retired. Okay, here's boats into the pits, 22 laps worth of fuel. And for 10 seconds, now go wait for Collard to come in. Yep, here's Collard. This is where I thought he was just gonna. I thought I, asked, I was gonna end up double stacking there, just in case. I just, but thankfully, that's not the case. They, they're down in. 17th and 18th. The only person they're ahead of is Johnny Harper's Lotus. But Collard is... Oh no. Uh, Collard has retired. So is Nigel Mansell. I think they may have had a bit of a coming together. Maybe that's what's happened. Um, oh, 10th and 8th. Difference is two laps. <laughs> Even Minardi are... Part of that group, and I say that Gianni Marbadelli has retired, so Per Luigi Martini is in seventh, so he's he's very nearly in the points for Minardi. Uh, so far, it's both McLarens, both Benetton, Alien Prost, and Sirius is Jordan. Uh, who did I retire? Oh, it's Mark Blundell. Okay, so Brabham, Brabham is really not doing great this season, but to be honest, nice Ligier, and surprisingly Lotus, despite having Hacken and Herbert. Okay, Siri Boatson's come to the pits the sec for the second and last time now. We know he's down 14, he's, he's, Herbert's not going to be able to catch him, so the only team that we can beat, we can outperform our Bravin and Lotus, that's pretty much all we can do. I mean, definitely the Roos, because the Roos are way, way off the pace, and I don't think they've got to take part in any race at the mo at this at this moment, and we're three races in. And as you can see, we're six laps down from both McLarens. <laughs> How do I feel about that? Terrible. 
Boatson has retired. Great, so another race, another double retirement. Will we finish a race at all? Because at this rate, it's not looking likely. But it looks like it's going to be a McLaren 1 2. Nelson Piquet is going to get third. Alien Prost in fourth. Michael Schumacher fifth. And Pere Luigi Martini in the Minardi is going to out outrun the Jordan for sixth place. So, great day for Minardi and great day for McLaren. And Michael Schumacher into the pits with two laps left to go, which is, don't see the point of that. So, anyway. Senna from Berger from PK. And why did... Oh, no, oh, a suspension failure this time. Our cars are so unreliable, this is not good. And so it's Brundle, actually. So he had a suspension failure also. And Collard and Mansell had a coming together. I kind of knew that was going to be the case. Hang on, go this... Oh, we have something on our gears. Oh, I didn't put that on. Oh, dear, that's not good, actually. Let's check the... Okay, boat. So that's the driver's standing. I was wondering why I didn't show up. Um, Ayrton says, three races, three wins. Burger second, Peral third. And Constructors were seventh at the moment. Tying with Brabham, Lotus, the Roos, Tiroli and Hazardaller. I'm not not surprisingly, McLaren are start scything their way through the... The constructors. Minari is three points. Williams got five. Benetton eight. Joy and Ferrari are tying, which is good. And one two for McLaren. Don't win for a cent. Hang on, I want to go to the. Hang on a second. No, that's not what I want. News after race. News. Yeah, that's what we wanted. I was wondering why it wasn't showing. I thought there was just no news, which would have been a bit weird. Oh man, I'm going to try and break, in no that's not the right button, I'm going to try and break into Brabham again, to tight Lotus, yeah I could get into Lotus alright, now I want their gearbox, not that, gearbox, 12%, ours is 12%, there's a 31, now we've got it, so we've got so our gearbox is going to be more reliable now. Well, it's a bit, though it's heavier. That should be fine though. Okay, here we are at Monte Carlo, and as you can see, it's mixed conditions again, but hopefully with our improved gearbox and our similar gears, we should pick, pick up at least some form of pace. Hopefully. Okay, we are slipping down the order, which is kind of expected, but I think in qualifying we should be okay. Hope, hopefully at best in midfield. I'm not expecting to be at the front of the grid, because I think that would just be a little bit too ambitious to think that. It is said being the qualifying record, 121. Oh no, it's actually Siri Boatson has been the qualifying that record. Look at that. He's, so for a moment, he's actually about a second faster than Senna. That's great. Both have been the qualifying record again. We just found some genuine pace. Well, both have found some genuine pace. Collard. Uh, Collard's not doing too well. But that's a bit of a surprise. Theory both have been the qualifying record yet again. What is this? How has Boats suddenly gone from like 21st in Imola to now being at the front? Exceeding a lot of expectations here. Let's end the session to see where that's where we're going to end up. First and eleventh. All twenty-six cars are going to compete. Even Larus is finally going to go compete, even though they're they just barely made they just made the hundred seven percent. But Siri Boatson out qualifying McLaren, Ferrari, Williams, they've out qualified the big teams all of a sudden, and Collard in 11th, they've out, he's, they've out qualified the Minardis. Oh wow, this is a very big shock. Okay, Boatson, Nigel Manson 2nd, Lacey 3rd, Series 4th, Prost 5th, 
Sen is 6, Gash is 7, both benches are low down, Burger is also low down, Collard, both Minaris, Medina, both Leighton Houses, Leito, Ricard Patrice, Nakajima, Hacknan, Piro, Blundell, Herbert, Brundle, both the Roosters are at the back of the grid. Who's going to stall? Whew, thankfully not Boatson. So, still first and 11th, what can we do about it? Probably not much because of how terrible the engine is, but anyway. The Monaco Grand Prix is ready to go now! No one stalled their car. Boats have still got the lead. Colors. Uh, okay, let's make sense for the camera here. Why is Collar gone all the way down to 26? Is he out of something? Yeah, he's retired. Okay, I didn't get a warning thing he stalled the car or anything. So what's happened to Collar? Is his engine gone or something? Uh, and... Well, pretty quickly, Sean Alacy has, in fact, got past us. But, mo Ligi momentarily leading the ra leading a race. Unheard of. And now, uh, Prost and Mansell have got past Boatson. And now, Sears got past him. Now, Seth's going to get past him. Until all the way down to 24. First, Seth being past him. And Gaseous is going to knock him out of the points position. Uh, Perluigi Martini retired, I didn't notice. And it's start. okay, it started to rain. The rain, it started to rain. Hang on. Uh, let's get back to the pits to get some wet tyres on. gasho has been the lap record in the rain, and I assume... What do you mean they've bring, bring the lap record? I think they're still on wet tyres, uh, and it's even though it's raining. Well, how does that work? Okay, we're gonna, we'll put 40 in. Let's do 40. 26 laps worth of fuel. And we'll make that... We'll make this 66. Okay, 7.3 seconds. He's going to drop right to the back because no one else has pitted yet. He's down in 19th, I think. No, I don't think they're gonna, he's going to make the places up. Even. Oh, he's got past Herbert. Everyone else is still on dry tires, though. Okay, we're back to the pits. Not really much has happened, except quite a few retirements have come into play. Both Lotuses, so both Hackney and Herbert are out of the race. But, impressively, Bernard and the LaRousse is still going. And um, Goldman petted about a couple of laps earlier, but Boats is coming out ahead of Goldman's late in the house. His teammate Capelli has retired. Piero and Adalara had also retired, but those they were all the, they were all behind Boatsin, which didn't really make uh, any make any difference for Boatsin to gain positions. Uh, so far, Major Mansell's in the lead, Alacy's in second, both Jordans are ahead of PK, and Ayrton Senna's in sixth place. So Senna won't make it four in a row. Bert John Gasho and the John has re in fact retired. Okay. That shifted Prost into the points now. Big surprise there from Gasho because they were doing so well to be third and fourth. And as you can see, we're three laps ahead of Brundle and Ber Bernard's uh, Brabham and LaRousse. So we've definitely got some genuine pace over them. That's definitely quite good for Ligier. Even though we've got the most underpowered engine on the grid. Well, second most underpowered because one the team that's got worse is obviously the Roos. And Michael Schumacher's now retired. Gianni Morbidelli's retired. And, well, Theory Boats is retired. But, okay, so Big Dave's retired as well as Boats and retiring. And lap 60, 1 hour 33 minutes. I don't think all 38 laps will be completed. And um, yeah, Bernard Barndell is so far behind, they cannot get past. Oh, they got past Boats now. But can they get past Morbidelli, Michael Schumacher? Look, they could get past Morbidelli. Can they get past Schumacher now? Yep, they finished the had. Uh, lap 64, 1 hour 40, no, 65, 1 hour 42 minutes, 18 minutes left. So I think they're only going to do about 9 more laps, well, probably 10 more laps, but that's not going to be all 78. Now Ricard Patrice is retired. 
But I don't think he was in a points position, though. And uh, Nakajima retired, but Nakajima, uh, he's not really been that great. Okay, they've got five laps left to go. I don't. I think they're only going to be able to get up to lap 75 out of the 78 before the time runs out. But it looks like Nigel Mansell's going to be Alacy, and Sirius is going to get third place for Jordan. So that's good. So that's a rather all right race. Both en both cars engines went. Oh, for goodness sake! Lamborghini engines are just absolutely dreadful, aren't they? Ugh. Hopefully we're not stuck. With, hopefully we're not going to be stuck with Lamborghini engines this time. Patrice spun off. Michael Schumacher spun off. Morbidelli had an engine failure. Also, and there was a from Ferrari. And Gashu retired the ran out of fuel. A lot of people had car failures, and there's only three drivers who spun off. What a very strange race. So Nigel Mansell, Lacey Series, Senna's got fourth in the end. Prost is fifth. Nelson PK got six. Okay, and uh, Ayrton says still miles ahead of everyone in the Drivers' Championship. Constructors were still tied sevens, which is alright. Uh, Shafi went, so we'll do that. Uh, Senna so Gear is still level one. Progress new cars being slow, need more resources. And uh, we've got $10,000 at least because thanks to Boatson getting pole position. First win the season for Nigel Mansell. Boatson failed to turn pole in the possession of points because we got our stupid Lamborghini engines are t terrible. New first win for Jean Alacy. That would have been great for Jean Alacy if he'd won that race. So anyway, before we end the episode, let's see if I can get bare suspension. Because we had a suspension problem earlier. Okay, that's not going to happen because all their securities are too tight. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, these Lamborghini engines will stop exploding in our faces. And hopefully, we will have better luck. So thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye. What was a disaster for the clouds. We kept the retired full faces. JG Leto, now, I've heard about him. I've heard he's all right. I don't 